Hi, this is Summer with Summer's Tips and Stitches, and this is my shopping haul. Sort of Black Friday, sort of just hanging out with my sister, going to craft stores and spending money. Okay, so the first day that we were together, we went to Hobby Lobby. And um, I thought I would show you a few of the things that I found there. Um, my sister is new to crochet. And so she doesn't really read patterns well, but she knows of things that she wants. So when I was looking through there, I was trying to find, you know how they have those pattern packs hanging on the side of simple, easy things that she could make that wouldn't be a big project that would be overwhelming. So I found um, this pattern pack. Um, I mean, I think that one's kind of a waste, but anyway, I mean, you could make that. But what I loved out of here was this mug rug and the placemat. Now, can I tell you guys, I came up with this idea a bunch of years ago. If you go to my really old videos, I show you that I made something like this. I think I'm gonna bite the bullet and work really hard and make some more because I have a ton of cotton and um, yeah, I'm gonna make some more of these, so that's cute. Um, this over here is just a pot holder, but it's cute nonetheless. And on the back is a cotton towel that has these things come over for button holders. And I really love that. So I'm thinking about knitting one of these and then chaining. So I'm gonna make up my own pattern for whatever, for this. Then um, we found this brochure. Now I'm gonna tell you what, you guys, I was very disappointed with this situation. Um, they have a, you know, a dishcloth pattern symbol. This one I thought was really interesting it is some sort of like thing where you could put like, um, it's called take a tray. After this food carry is complete, weave in the yarn with a needle to create dish, dashed lines. Well, anyway, it's like some kind of tray where you put things in and then you have these to carry. I don't know if I would make that, but this is where I started getting disappointed, you guys. They have these two cut patterns, this one here and then this one here. So the pattern that's here is for this. There's nothing on this. And then I'm gonna be honest, you guys, when I was crocheting, even when I brought myself to a half, to a half hook smaller size, from a five to a 4.5 to a four, it still was coming up way too big for most coffee cups. My sister at Hobby Lobby was able to find these cups and these spoons. So they had everything you needed to make this. So I ended up kind of doing a hybrid and making up my own pattern. And I ended up making something similar to this. So these are in the Hobby Lobby aisles. I grabbed those. Then I bought this for my classroom because I love rainbows and I thought that was cute. Um, in my school, we would use these to like put your birthday on them, have a birthday wall, or we put them out in the hall by their hooks and their cubbies to know whose, whose hook is whose. Um, sometimes I just hang them around the room decorating, like I'd label math games with these and have all the labels be the same. Um, to be honest, I absolutely do not need to buy anymore because I have tons. Um, I also got this. Um, I have a new nephew that was born this month and I, a while ago, had knitted his older two brothers a Elmo and I want to say maybe Cookie Monster or Grover. It was blue. Um, and so I, because they have a new baby brother, I bought this one, $6.99. So I'm going to knit this up. Ernie is one of my all-time favorite Sesame Street characters. So I'm making him this Ernie. So I bought that, $6.99, not on sale. Uh, oh, I bought these spoons. These are the ones that go with that. But I also have a Keurig in my classroom at school. And I'm always stirring with a pen or a pencil. Hmm. So I thought I'd get myself a little pack of these stir sticks. They're 99 cents. They're cute. I probably never will buy them again because I think I could find something cheaper somewhere else. But they were cute. Um, then I bought... My sister bought me one of these, and I bought myself one. I bought a speckled yarn. Um, I found this pattern a while ago, and I'll see if I can find a link and put it in the description. It was on Ravelry, and it's called Toehead. 
and it's a it's a hat I was looking around real quick to see if I saw it here to put it on for you it's a hat made out of sock yarn so you have to cast on like a million stitches because all but it I thought that would be kind of a cute hat and then she bought me this one this is my favorite colors I mean spirited for mandala cakes this is kind of the colorway of stuff that I bought for my um uh, free your fade that I've never completely knitted. Um, this, I'm trying to find to you guys what type of yarn this is. This is called Ocean Ripple. Um, I'm trying to find the contents. Hand dyed yarn, slight color vari variation. Oh, this is Super Wash Merino Wool 1% Metallic. This is also super wash merino wool i'm trying to use my new bifocals if i go like this i can see better uh yeah this is super wash merino wool as well and they suggest using crochet hook three millimeter does it say it's fingering it doesn't but it's it is probably it's definite i mean it's small okay so i got those two that was my hobby lobby purchases Oh, I also bought these to make earrings. I thought those were cute. So I'm gonna make, they're like little pumpkins. I haven't decided if I was gonna put like both on one or have two pairs, but I was gonna make some earrings. Um, these little charms were 50% off and it's just really cute. If you go, Hobby Lobby has a whole row of charms and then all you have to do is take a jump ring and connect it to an earring. And I do think those are really cute earrings. I mean, this was $3.99, 50% off. So with the hordes of earrings, I end up making like two pairs of earrings for like four bucks at the most once you buy the jump rings and the pliers and all that jazz. I feel like it's cheaper because I already own all that stuff. Okay, so that was my Hobby Lobby time. Then we got up and um, hopefully by the time this came up, you saw my sister and I shopping Black Friday at Joann's. Um, and this is where chaos ensued. The first thing we did is we went through the bead section because that's what Brie loves. And we saw that they had all these beads and these big signs for $2.99 for all the strings of beads. And I saw these like gemstone type beads. So I got really excited and thrilled because Flynn loves gemstones and rocks and all that kind of stuff. So I got like, I want to say like six or eight strands of these like gemstone type beads. They call themselves natural agate or natural jasper. You know what I mean? I'm sure you do. And then I got like a little plastic box um, similar to this, but usually people keep like embroidery floss in them. And I was going to cut them and organize them and then put little labels in the bottom to organize those gemstones. Well then after we got home and I was looking over the receipt, none of them rang up $2.99. They rang up $16.99. And then I had gotten a little bit of a discount because Joann's does have a discount for teachers, 20%. So I did get a little bit, but still that was quite a lot for something that I thought was gonna be a cutesy fun gift. So I ended up returning, I know, all of those gemstone ones because I decided I could get natural uncut sapphire, the citrazine type stone he wanted from Amazon that were actual stones, not like glass beads or maybe with holes through them um, for the same cost, if not cheaper. So that's what I ended up doing. But um, I had bought this drawer and in it I had put all the beads. And, but then these are a few things I did keep. I bought these for Maddie, these little mushroom beads, and she wants me to teach her how to make a necklace or bracelet. And then I got her these butterflies. Oh, this one's kind of starting to bend. And they're on little clips. So I got those for her and I got this drawer. I don't believe any of these were on sale. And this drawer was on clearance for $4.50. Okay, I'm gonna put that in there as well. Then I got, oh, I still have this. This is a scrapbook paper, which is all bent to heck. 
because this was what I was going to write on in nice, fancy little handwriting to put in that bin. But now I'll do something with it. Then I also bought this. This was on clearance for $3.50. I thought about taking a look at this project and seeing if I could simplify this for a club for the first or for second and third graders, a craft club that I could do. Or either that, I'll just save it at the end of the year for a prize, how the prize bin. It was $3.50. Then, um, ooh, I, I guess I went to Ulta and got Maddie some Ulta. I forgot about that. I better go put that upstairs in the Christmas bag. If you remember, I thought I would, I'll just tell you guys this. If you have a preteen granddaughter, niece, goddaughter, daughter, or special friend, Millie Bobby Brown, who is the star of Stranger Things, has her own makeup line and skincare line called Florence. And it's really trendy and bougie, um, pretty reasonable. It's not like super expensive. Like I wanna say this was like $9. These are pimple patches. I don't know if they work or not, but she loves them. And then um, I bought her this. This was their holiday kit. This was on sale for 20 I believe. Well, let me look at my receipt. It's right here. Okay, the pimple patches were regular price 14 and I got them for 9 And this kit was 28 and I got it for $16.80. And this is, um, what does it have in it? I don't even know. It has... Clear the Way Clarifying Mud Mask, Feed Your Soul Love a Latte Coffee Glow Mask, Swimming Under the Eyes Hydrating Gel Pads, Floating Under the Eyes Puffing Under the Eye Pads. Now she is a young, healthy girl, so I don't know why she needs this, but you know what I mean, it's Christmas, right? You buy them those things and at least she's keeping her skin young and healthy. So I do recommend heading over to Ulta if you have a young person in your life that loves taking care of their skin. This is a tidy little Christmas present here. Okay, now back to what else I have in my bag here for me. I also bought myself, remember, that really big bag, which I love. Um, okay, so I bought these for my classroom. I'm going to save the receipt and um, get this deducted. Um, so, like I said, a, a while ago, a subscriber mailed me this little cute organ, this little cute bag, you know, like one of those see-through bags with all these holiday buttons. And I've been using them every year. We make this little Christmas tree ornament and I have the kids glue, hot glue these buttons on them. Um, so I finally ran out last year. I didn't have any left. And these were on sale in the video. I think I said it was three by three, get two free. There's seven they were even $7.99 a pack or $7.49 a pack. I can't remember. So I got two of these, the buttons that have like Christmas tree, wreaths, presents, stars, you know. Um, and then I got some snowflakes, little snowflakes. I don't, they call them buttons. They do have like little holes on there that you could sew them. But like I said, my kids just hot glue them. And then I got like the gemstones. And um, yeah, we'll just, I let the kids choose like five, I think it is three, maybe six to nine. Cause I, I make this Christmas tree out of craft sticks. So they glue three green craft sticks in the shape of a triangle. And then I let them put three per side. And then I have these like little sparkly pom poms that I have a bazillion of still. And they put them as like the star on top. And then in the back, on the back, I take a picture of them in our classroom um, and I put it on a piece of green construction paper and we glue that onto the back. So it's their picture in that little Christmas tree. So I got all these and I'm very excited. This probably will last me for another three to four years, um, which will be good. Then also I went, I got a Crochet Now magazine, which has nothing to do with, um, Christmas or anybody else. I mean, maybe I could save it and give it to someone as a gift. I don't know, probably not, right? But I love it because it has these two stitch markers, this little hook, and then um, there's this, here, I'm gonna open it up right now. There's this super cute sweater on the cover. 
And you know I'm obsessed with Bella Coco. Uh, look at this. It's like a pocket shawl with little Christmas doohickeys on there, little balls. Like They look like little cranberries. And then that amigurumi. How cute is that? And then this little hedgehog sweater, which I think is doable. And they have like baubles on the sleeves. I love, I love Sarah Jane. You guys know that. I wish her patterns were written in American terms. But I mean, it's it, once you get cracking on a pattern, it doesn't uh, matter really anymore. Oh my gosh, and Maddie would love this if I made this for her. These little mushrooms and little nuts hanging that she can decorate her room with. Woodland bunting. Um, here's another cute hat pattern. Look at this, you guys. That's cute. I love her hats. Um, they definitely don't fit kids, though. Um, you'd have to look. Oh, this is a cute cat amigurumi. Some kind of a weird yarn to make it look furry like that. Oh. I'm trying to yarn used. Let's look at that real quick here. Um, let's see here. Oh, here's something cute. Here's like a little hedgehog pattern. Oh, no, they're like little gnomes. Look how cute they are. I love it. I love making a gnome. There's like a fishing gnome. Cone, cone and acorn. Oh, it's a, it's an acorn and a pine cone. Those are cute. I just wish I could sit in my basement all day and crochet down here. Here is this adorable sweater. Oh my goodness, look at how cute that is. Look how cute that little girl is. That's adorable. And of course the hedgehog has the puff stitch. On oh, here she's advertising for her Crochet Society box. Both of these boxes I absolutely loved. I've bought two of those. They just had a, you guys, I also went online because they had a Black Friday uh, sale. And I bought one more of these. This yarn was really cushy as well. And then I bought the pink and purple um, Tunisian set. They were 10. Actually, once I put everything in my cart, those were $8.99. And then I bought, and this is the one I regret, but I don't regret. Like, I wanted it, but then I'm like, Summer, did you need it? I got the gray bag with the pink zipper. Now, I already last year, Bella Coco calls it her range. I bought the off-white one with the aqua one, and now I bought this one too. Okay, it's okay, you guys. It, the grand total of the purchase with shipping and handling for the big bag, the little bag, and the two boxes of yarn, past boxes, came to 61 But that's $20 shipping and handling. Okay, let's keep looking. Um, oh, look at these little Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. That's cute. Here's some more cushions. You know, those British people call them cushions. That's cute enough. Here is uh, some places where you can order yarn, British yarn. King Cole is one of my favorites, and I go to a private yarn shop in Nina, and she sells it. Here is a forest fairy. She looks like a mushroom. I bet you Maddie would want that as well. She has like a little acorn hat on and then she's got a little mushroom skirt. Here's Bella Coco modeling a gorgeous sweater. Look at that. I wonder if they have one for fat enough for me. Well, it does go to 5X. You darn near have to buy a yarn store though to make that in my size, I think. And let's see what else is in this. Oh, here's this pocket shawl that I really liked. I'm pretty sure I have all the yarn colors here. I'm looking at my hoard over here, seeing if I do. I think I would. And then here's some pictures of people they've made and they sent them to her. Okay, that is all for my... Um, I would say the big two things that I want to make are the pocket shawl and these little gnomes. Okay, so I bought this. Good for me. Now, the exciting thing that I'm really thrilled with that I bought here, you guys, 
Well, one, I bought the hot pink twist, big twist. I just loved this color. And there was a couple years ago when I went to a private yarn shop and they had a hot pink um, yarn and I never bought it and I regretted it. To this day, I still think about it. I had a really awesome yarn friend. Um, I want to say he lives in North or South Carolina and he bought me this, which I'm now pretty sure I'm going to make into a hat, a toe hat. Uh, oh, this is sport weight, three ply. I also might, might, I just found, okay. I also might make this into a sock because I just found this pattern that I posted on my Facebook group that I'll try to put a link in the description box below. It's another YouTube video for a pair of pretty easily looked, it looks pretty easy. And she does a step-by-step -step tutorial on crocheting a pair of socks. And I want to say it was DK yarn. So I might use that today. I'm going to make them today. The last thing I bought was this yarn that I told you was very similar to Bella Coco's um, yarn. Here, I'm going to show you so you can see. This is what her yarn looks like. Do you see how it's round and it's, and then this very much like it. So I bought this. This is a worsted weight though, and this one's a DK. I just wanted to see how it looks. And if so, if I really feel like it's nice, I just feel like, Sometimes you buy those crochet society boxes or, um, and then you use up the yarn that comes in it. This might be a really good substitute for Bella Coco's. And this is Lion Brand Yarn, Let's Get Cozy, Lazy Days. 100% um, polyester. And it it's a four and it recommends a, using my reading glasses right now, a J, a six millimeter hook. I don't agree. And it's called Cameo. So that is all that I bought the last two days. Oh, and the day Tuesday before Thanksgiving week, I bought this at Walmart. And do you see how it has like little sequins in it? Isn't that nice? I hadn't seen one of those before. I've seen it with the Stellina in it, but not with the sequins. So that is my hoard that I have just bought. I'm going to show you guys. Look at that. All that stuff that I just bought there. Now I got to try to clean up my little crafty corner and get to work. Today I want to make that sock that I found. And uh, I still am like, I want to say three or four hats short. I mean, I technically have exactly 20, I believe right now. But I do like to have extra hats so nobody feels like they're getting the last hat. You know what I mean? Just want to give a little shout out to my hair gal, uh, Jennifer. She probably doesn't watch my videos, which is fine. But I'm really loving my hair. I'm not doing like the spiral that she did. She did this fun yarn thing. I just really love this. I don't like it when my hair is down here. Because if you've ever seen in the videos and I turn my head and my hair like kind of clumps up over here. And I always hated that. I just really think that this is the hairstyle for me. Okay, you guys, I've got a lot to do over here. I gotta clean up this little mess. I gotta organize my receipts and I need to get started on some crochet projects. Um, thanks for watching and subscribing. Thanks for liking and sharing my videos. And until the next video, happy crafting. Bye.